is LMAO. All right, he's been seen, uh, he's been doing comedy as a young kid. He's won comedy competitions, written a book. One of them is titled Unfriend Me, Jokes Worth Losing Friends Over. Let's give a warm welcome to Adam Kessler, y'all. Come on. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We appreciate it. Uh, we, I, uh, I drove over here from Pasco. You guys ever hear of it? Pasco, yeah. I, I drove over Pasco up front. Represent. There we go. I knew at the free show we could draw some people from Pasco in. I, uh, I drove over here from Pasco. I got passed on the way here by a Walmart semi-truck. And up on the side of the Walmart semi-truck, it has their slogan. It says, save money, live better. Has anybody here ever been to Walmart? Does it look like anybody in there is saving money or living better? No. This is better? What was life like before you wore the tuxedo shirt tucked into the sweatpants? What was life like? <laughs> and one shoe. Fantastic. This is great. But I love that slogan, save money, live better. I think we could put it on the Statue of Liberty. Uh, I think that sounds like a great country you'd want to go to. And then Walmart can have the one that's on the Statue of Liberty that says, bring us your tired, your poor, your huddled mass. I think it fits better. Right up front. That's right. My fan. <laughs> Sitting with my new manager. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. His name's, his name's Craig's List. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's uh, brand new to the game. <laughs> So we, uh, I, I do a lot of driving for comedy. I don't know if anybody, do you, clap it up if you have a job where you drive around a lot. Anybody, a couple people? Okay, I, I'm always driving for comedy. They, they made texting and driving illegal. Do you still text and drive? Clap it up if you still text and drive. It's not working. Every time I look up from texting and driving, somebody else is texting and driving. And I'm like, this is the most dangerous thing we've ever done. Is, uh, but but I, I don't think that's in the top 10 of dangerous things that I do when I'm driving. I drive so much for comedy. I've once changed clothes from head to toe while driving before. <laughs> Anybody else change your clothes in the car? A couple people. I, 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 I used to work in an office before I became world famous. And uh, <laughs> the laughter hurts a bit on that one. I... Uh, I, I worked at this office, I walked by this lady's cubicle while she was calling, doing her insurance claim, and all I needed to hear was a sentence that I heard. I heard her making her insurance claim, and she said, and that's when I dropped the fork. We're eating with forks and spoons while we're driving. We're using utensils. You guys having soups and salads driving around out there? You're crazy. That's why they made burritos. You're eating cereal in the car? What the hell's wrong with you? Just text and drive like the rest of us, would you? How about this? How about this? Anybody ever have sex while you're driving? I know some of you. Some of you up front, she's high-fiving. Well, by yourself, that's fine. That's fine. We'll call it sexting. I don't care what you call it. But, but like, I, I've had sex while I'm driving before. Why didn't I pull over? That's what I was driving to. Was to try and have sex. I should have pulled over at that point. But, but here's the most dangerous thing I do when I'm driving. I, I am uh, 43 years old, and I still listen to CDs in my car. I don't know if any of you guys still listen to CDs. It's a compact disc. I, I've almost gotten in so many wrecks trying to switch out the CD and put Sir Mix-a-Lot back in the case. And, and then I swerve, I swerve, and I hit this thing called the rumble strip. You guys know the bumps on the outside of the lanes? Da -da 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 -da. But it wakes you up, like if you're drowsy or if you're changing the CD or if you're having sex by yourself, whatever. And, uh, and you, you might hit the bumps on purpose, I don't know. And, uh, but, da -da 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 -da. but you hit those bumps, I love it because it's this free tool on the highway and I just wish that life also came with rumble strips. Like if you're about to make some horrible life decision. Like, hey, three-day weekend coming up. I'm thinking Vegas. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Never mind. We'll just barbecue. We'll just barbecue. we <laughs> will be fine. Hey, uh, yeah, my relationship's not going so good, so we're going to try and have a baby and see if that fixes things. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> or, or, yeah, uh, uh, here's the worst one. Hey, lady, when's your baby due? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Never ask a woman when her baby is due. That's a little free advice. I'll tell you, the worst one is when you ask a woman when her baby is due and then you find out that she's not even a woman. That's the worst. <laughs> 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 
Settle down. They're jokes, folks. Settle down. I, uh, I'm drinking soda pop up here. Any soda drinkers in the house? Anybody? A couple people. Here's the thing I noticed about drinking soda pop. If I go to a restaurant, if they don't have the one that I order, they try and offer me the look-alike, the doppelganger. I go in and say, can I have a Diet Pepsi? And they go, is Diet Coke okay? Or I go in, can I get a 7-Up? How about a Sprite? I notice they don't do that with food. I don't go in and go, can I get a cheeseburger? How about two hot dogs? I don't do that. <laughs> can I get some nachos? How about a burrito? <laughs> can I get a warm glass of piss? How about a Coors Light? <laughs> they don't do it. There's so many things. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I was watching the news the other day. Everything on the news was all bad. It was about mudslides and earthquakes and blizzards. And then I realized it was a Dairy Queen commercial. It's not good. Are we on? Okay. Doing all right. <laughs> I saw a bit of news that I thought was kind of depressing. It said that Americans are becoming so obese that when we die, we're too fat to be cremated at the crematoriums. We're getting too fat to fit inside the burners at the crematoriums. So they're having to fix this by installing bigger burners called Krispy Crematoriums. They are doing... <laughs> Some of those changes. <laughs> settle down. Settle down. It's fine. I actually, I'm, I'm 43 years old, like I said, and I got a piece of mail in my mailbox uh, that just a few weeks ago. Uh, it was a postcard asking if I want to prepay for my cremation services. At 43 years old, and there's a website and a phone number, so I called the phone number because that's more fun. And the lady goes through her sales pitch, five minutes long, of why I should prepay for my cremation. And then at the end of her sales pitch, she goes, do you have any questions? I said, yeah, just one. What if I die in a fire? <laughs> <laughs> We talking about a refund or you guys sweep up or what are we talking about here? <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming out. I, uh, I want to end my set tonight by telling you guys my favorite quote about what I do because I was watching this show called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee and Jerry Seinfeld was talking with this guy Gary Shandling who recently passed away rest in peace, and uh, Gary Shandling was talking to Jerry about his comedy career, and he said, one of my favorite things I've ever heard anybody say about comedy, he said, um, he said, maybe your comedy is a gift to be given with joy to help other people through this impossible life. And so I just thank you guys for letting me share that tonight, and you guys have a great night, all right? Show Adam some love. Adam Keschler, y'all.